Hello, Henry. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good, and you? I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day? Uh, uh, very tired because now I record I record three programs in one day. Okay, can you please repeat? I have the my volume low. Can you please repeat? Okay, wait. Okay, I have a, a, a day very tired. Okay. Because I I record I was record three programs in the in the same day. Okay. Three different programs. Yes. Normally uh, we record only one program. Okay. In the week we have a very problem, but it's necessary that today uh, we record these three programs. The programs of the tomorrow and the Monday and Tuesday. Okay. And what's what's the name of the program? Hola El Salvador and Twelve oh. Channel. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. So you were physically at Canal 12 today? No. From I your house? In my house? Yes. Okay. So I use uh, my my phone for record the the TV program and a, a different light. Okay, that's interesting. Yes, but it's very difficult. But it is necessary for this emergency. Right, right, right. Okay. All right. So welcome back, everybody. Henry, Gloria, mm -hmm. Veronica. How are you today? Hi, Patricia. Hi, teacher. Very fine. Hi, teacher. Hello. How was your day today? Fine. Teacher. Good. I am continuing. Um, I am going to home office. Okay. All right. How much longer with home office? I think it's approximately for two months. Two months. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. You know, doing home office, um, you know, including myself, you know, I was not really thinking about doing home office for this year, 2020, but plans change. So. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. We, any things about the, the, this situation. <laughs> right. Right. So uh, maybe, you know, we were thinking about doing things that we're doing now, maybe in the future, like shopping online, going for your groceries, uh, working from your home, maybe in the future, but not in 2020. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So today is June 25th, um, 2020. Uh, we officially finish today, but I owe you half hour. I owe you 30 minutes, 15 minutes from Tuesday and 15 minutes from Monday. So we're having classes tomorrow from 8 to 8.30, only 30 minutes. So if you want to join, you're more than welcome. I expect you to be present. Um, and that's how we will make up for the two days that I was late because of internet issues. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's talk about yesterday. What did we do yesterday? Who remembers? Which topics did we mention yesterday? The use because. Exactly, the use of because. What is the function of because? When do you use it? For the reason. Yes, to express reasons. Uh, sometimes they're not reasons, they're excuses. 
but we still use because. What is the short form to say because? Cause. Cause. Yes. It's informal, but people use it on a, as a, on a regular basis. It says, why were you absent? Oh, cause I went to the hospital. Cause I was tired. So people use cause. It's informal, but people use it. So if you want to use it, that's fine too. Did we talk about another topic? Or was because the only topic that we discussed? Who remembers? Volunteer to give opinions. Do you have any questions about yesterday? No. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yeah, teacher. All right. Okay, so let's let's start with our first activity. Um we will I think we're going to have next week off. I'm not sure. But just in case, you know, like what do you usually do at this time when we're not having classes? Do you have any other topics, any other plans for when we start again? So I will assign you to working pairs and talk about the things you plan to do next week. You plan to continue? Do you plan to uh, study on your own? Different things. So um, are the questions clear? I mean, the instructions clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, all right, so I will assign you and here we go. Right here. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, you teacher. Good, I'm doing good, thank you. How thank was you. your day today? Fine, exhausting. Okay. How many hours do you work? Um, actually, I only work well, like five hours, but in these hours, I don't know, my balls explode me. Okay, good, good. All right. So you're supposed to be in group one. I don't know why it doesn't read you. Let me see if I can move you somewhere else. Okay. Do you work tomorrow, Jennifer? Yeah, I, I I work tomorrow. Okay. But you're doing home office. No, I'm I'm go to work. You go to work. Where do you work again? In a bank. Oh, okay. Uh which bank? Uh, a bank in I don't know, it's a new bank. Okay. And are you a teller? What is the meaning of teller? <laughs> teller, um, you know, like sometimes people say cashier, but if you work in a bank, you don't say cashier, you say teller. Ah, okay. No, I'm in the the office. I don't know how how the headquarters. Headquarters. Casa Matriz. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the headquarters. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. So you're physically going every day? Yeah, but just for a while because we have uh, we have to to move move almost there. Okay. So are you moving now in the quarantine or you're just preparing things for later? No, uh, yeah, preparing things for later. Next month we have to to move. Yeah, to move. Okay. To okay. All this. Are, are you going somewhere near or far? Actually, for me, it's a little more far because uh, it's in Merliot, and right now I'm working in in Torre Futura. Okay. And where do you live again? Um, for um nearby Walmart Constitution. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, Torre Futura Constitution is not that far. Yeah. But Merliot is a little bit farther. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic. Uh-huh. Okay. I wonder why the other room didn't read you either. Let me see if I can move <laughs> you somewhere else. Okay, teacher. All right. Expenses. I pay all the only online. Yes, it's uh, easier, and I save the time. Uh, I really like me uh, to the pay online, and now uh, the bank is free. The transaction. Uh, no, for me, it's the, the, the thing and, and send the, the, the form, but the human resources of my, of my job uh, doesn't want to do it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I try, I try to, to change the course, but there's more responsibility, more time, more homework, but it's necessary for me. Yes. I need to learn more vocabulary. Yes, I, I need to try to to, to be more fluent at the moment of the peak. But I, I to, to buy a supermarket on weekend. Uh, the the next weekend maybe. All the next week, and probably I going to buy a to the supermarket. Um, probably. Okay. Who is your buy in your home? Uh, excuse me. Uh, when I transfer money in the other account, it's difficult for me because I don't have. I don't have um, documentation for the other other banks. Ah, okay. Actually, transfer money for uni is for the bank. Yes. The, uh, yes. Ah, okay. But, but I don't have problem. Okay. Me too. Uh, I I I never have. Can you hear me, Jennifer? I need to learn different topics for the interest of the public. Okay. And uh, this so video I, and I this... A... Sorry? And this video that you are talking about and the, and the... of the social media you made by your own or... Mm. Henry, 
sometimes uh, um, Luis, Luis Medrano. Uh, and today with you. <laughs> In my case, uh, always Henry or, or Jennifer. Jennifer, ah, no. Sí, only, no. only. <laughs> Only, only, only that. Day. Uh, only that. Only day. Okay. And what else um, is that with um, about the the next the next? Okay, teacher, the class tomorrow. There is class tomorrow. Yes, only thirty minutes which are the 30 minutes that I owe you. So it's going to be real quick. Okay. Yeah, from 8 to 8.30. Today they finish the, the class. Right. Yes, we officially okay. finished today, but since I owe you half hour, I have to teach, uh, teach you guys tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right, Thank you, got, you guys finished with the topic? Yes, yes. teacher. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Jennifer, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> I tried putting you in all the rooms, but I don't know why it didn't read you. Okay. Okay, anyways. All right, um, any questions or comments about how to express ideas in the future tense? No. Remember that we have 12 tenses and when we talk about future events, you have simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. So those four are the main ones that people use when they wanna talk about future events. All right, any questions before we go to our second activity? No? No, teacher. All right, so no, let's go here. Some of you guys already finished it. Um, do you recall this um, exercise? How many of you finished already? Yes. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay. So this is the very last topic or, or interview, I mean, uh, exercise before you go to the final exam. Um, in here, we're applying how to use because. So the first one says, I wouldn't want to be a nurse. What is the reason you wouldn't want to be a nurse? Or maybe you would like to be a nurse. Have option. What is it? You have options. Right, right. But before we go to the options, what would be your opinion if you wouldn't want to be a nurse? Teacher is too tired. Okay, okay. it's too tiring, okay. And has a bad pay. <laughs> a bad? A bad payment. Okay, it's tiring, the payment is not good. Because I don't like blood. Okay, you don't like blood? Exactly. I All don't right. like I don't like the hospital. Okay. Yeah, hospitals, clinics. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's check the possible options that we have. I wouldn't want to be a nurse because I don't like hospitals, because I really enjoy traveling, because I have a terrible memory, because I'm terrible mm -hmm. with numbers, or because I love creative writing. What is because the best I option? Don't like because I don't like hospital. All right, you don't like hospital. Okay, what about the second one? Would you like to be a novelist? Because I like writing. Okay, 
Someone else, another opinion? Okay, let's check this here. Because I love creative writing. All right, so let's check this one. Okay, an accountant. I could never be an accountant. What is the main reason why people don't like accounting? Because, because I don't like the number. Exactly. The math. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, when, when you are in school, you know, high school or junior high school, there are two subjects that people never like. Some people don't like mathematics and other people, they don't like English. <laughs> so those are the two subjects that people say, nah, not me. So, <laughs> so what is the main topic that accountants get involved with? What, what do they work with mainly? Okay, what would be the because, best option there? Because I am terrible with numbers. Uh -huh. So am I. I don't like numbers either. Except if they're money, I like big numbers. Mm -hmm. But in general, I don't like numbers that much. Do we have any accountants in the group here? No. I am teacher. You are? No. I am teacher. Yes. Good, good. So you like numbers? Yes. And yes. Good. Good. That's good. So we choose that one. I would make a bad waiter. I would be a bad waiter. Have you ever tried being a waiter or waitress? Just in family meetings, teacher. Okay. Do you think you will be a good waitress or waiter as a profession or occupation? No, teacher. I cannot, I don't know, how do you say equilibrio? Balance. Balance. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you guys know the name of the big dish where they put the food and the drinks? No. It's terrible for me. Uh-huh. You know the word. How do you say bandeja in English, in, in email? Mm. Tray. Tray. T-R-A-Y. Mm. So the same word that you use for emails, you use exactly the same word um, when you're serving food. When you're serving food. So, like she just said, you need to have balance when you have the tray so you don't drop the food or anything. Yep. Okay, you would be a bad waiter because you don't like hospitals, because I really enjoy traveling, because I have terrible memory, because I'm terrible with numbers, or because I love creative writing. Because I have a terrible memory. Okay, yeah. Because... Uh, that's why waiters, they are always writing things, you know. And if you don't have a good memory and you don't have pen and paper, uh, that will give you problems. Um, would you like to work in, a, in, an, in an airplane? Anybody? Flight attendant? Because... I be shy. Okay. My girlfriend is a flight attendant. Really? Okay, so she's traveling all the time. Yes. And how is yes. her... No, not today. Okay, and how is her personality? In this moment... Right. I mean, like right now, is she in El Salvador? Yes. Okay. Yes, but the airport is closed. Right. Right. Okay. And she works for Avianca? Yes. Okay, good. 
All right, and now we go to the options. I don't like hospitals. I really enjoy traveling. I'm a terrible memory. I'm terrible with numbers and I love creating writing. What is the best option here? Because, because I really, I enjoy, really traveling. enjoy traveling. Okay, oh. you enjoy traveling. Let's check this here. And you have all the answers correct. All right. Any okay. questions about this exercise? No? No. Okay. So, all right. So we're going to use our second half of the class for you to make a summary of all the things that we have seen. New share. Let me see, where is this here? Okay, do you guys see the document? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so we have nine different topics that were like um, the most relevant, like the most important. Um, we have the first one, which was about reading. Do you remember that reading? When we were talking about neighbors? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, what, who remembers what we discussed that time? What was the information in the, in the, in the article? We talk about uh, when has some problem when, with the neighborhood. Right. Uh, for example, the, the trash that is to your, to your yard. Uh -huh. or, or if somebody play music so loud. Uh, right, right. Yeah, so music loud, uh, garbage in front of your house or maybe in the backyard. That is some of the problems that we usually have with neighbors. Now, how do you solve those problems? What is a solution? Who remembers the solution you guys shared that time? All the police. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sometimes that, that would be an option too. But I think that first you should speak with the person before calling them. Yep. Okay, so we have nine different topics. I will assign you to work in triads. So let's see this here. Ha ha ha. I'm going to have to room one. And then she will go to room two. All right, so you guys are gonna be working in triads and um, discuss the, the topics that you have there. Let me take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. Where is this? Eight to nine, nine to 10, eight to nine. Okay, so there you have it. Hello, Maria Luz. Maria Luz, can you hear me? Yes, your voice goes on and off. Uh, yeah, and off. But can, can you hear me? Sorry. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. 
All right. How was your day? Mm, well, resting. <laughs> okay. When do you have any ideas when you go back to work? in your in your same neighbor and you you have some problems with them the the people who live next to you is an is your neighbor okay uh, according to the to the platform um they talk about the uh, some 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 girl that having that was having issues with the with her neighbor, and uh, uh, the neighbors has a, a dog that that does a lot of of noise, and also um, these people cut uh, some trees, and uh, already talk with them and they don't don't be polite and that's that's the thing that i remember yes the, the article said what is the problem of this girl in the neighbor and what is the solution a solution maybe can be if you tell to your neighbor politely if they i don't know maybe can change uh, we need a uh, alt before mm -hmm. uh, to the bear the the particular two okay for example i use my cell phone to call me my friend to call me my friend to call i okay. use my cell I use my cell phone to call me my friend. And Jaron, um, I use my cell phone for calling my friend. Good. Ah, okay. Bear, but I don't use. Uh -huh. Exactly. Thank you. Teacher. Yes. We are speak about the Jerum. Uh -huh. uh, it's a, a, a question because uh, the uh, particular four, uh, we, uh, we at uh, before the Jerum. Four is about the reason, teacher. Uh, it depends. If if you remember, you can use gerunds for um, uses or purposes, but you can also use it for, for reasons. Like, I have a pen for writing. So when I said I have a pen for writing, I'm telling you the reason why I have the pen. Or like the example... Veronica was given, or I think it was you. You said, I have a cell phone for calling my friend. So you can use it like that too. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a reason for the action. Right. So you're justifying why you do something or why you have something. So I need a car for going to work. So I'm explaining a reason why I need a car. Okay, okay. Uh, for example, uh, uh, sentence number one, uh -huh. I am going, no, sorry, I am studying English only, but okay. if I, la I want to say I am, I am for, Studying English? Uh, no, 
No, to not in that get case. A better. No, in that case, you need to change it and you say, I study English for getting a better job. So you have to explain why you're studying English. Or I need to learn English for traveling. So uh, you, need to, you need to start the sentence like that. I am studying English for improving my fluency. So okay. first, first you mention what you're doing and then you use for plus ing to explain why you're doing it. Okay. Uh, another example, I use my computer to send email. And uh -huh. I use my computer for sending email. Good. Yes. The same. The same message, exactly. So uh, the reason why we um, discuss that topic is because in a real life conversation, sometimes people get confused and they said, I need a car uh, for travel. No, you need, a, you need a car for traveling or I need a car to travel. So just make sure that if you're using ING form, you have to use for. If you're using base form, then you have to use two. Okay. Is, it, is it clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, good. You can say, can you lend me your your laptop? But I don't I don't know the 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 main difference between them. Okay. You mean between borrow and lend? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, borrow is when you mention the person that needs something. So I can say, Jennifer, can I borrow your cell phone? I need the cell phone. Or if I will mention you, I will say, Jennifer, can you lend me your cell phone? So it doesn't matter if you're using lend or borrow, the two options are temporary. If I'm the one receiving, I have to return it. If I am the one giving, I expect to, re to, to, to get it back. So borrow is pedir prestado, lend is dar prestado. Thank you, teacher. All right. Plus, I and used to for. Yeah. Use for excuse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other. Other top. Okay. Present perfect. What What okay. is the stroke? What is the structured sentences? Gloria. Present perfect. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Um, we use present perfect when we uh, not uh, when we not the the type specific. Uh huh. Yeah. That is good. The action in the past. The action in the past, but can be uh, in the present or at the moment. Uh, the action uh, start in the past, but it can be present uh, now. Good. What time did we start the class? It, it's a eight, question. Eight, eight o'clock. So eight, eight o'clock is past tense. It will never be eight o'clock on June 25th of 2020, but we continue in the class. So like Gloria says, uh, starts in the past and there is a possibility that you continue with the action. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay. But I I think in some point maybe can get married, but I don't know. I'm not pretty sure about it. You're not married, Jennifer? I don't know, teacher. Uh, it's but, not for sure. But, but you're not married right now. <laughs> no, I'm far. <laughs> you're far from getting married. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> How old are you, Jennifer? 25. Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, I agree with you. 25 is a little bit too young. Yeah. Okay. In the visited is a regular verb. Uh, then yeah. is the same with the past tense. Yes, yes. Gloria. Excellent. Um, Or the other example. Okay. Present perfect. In the present perfect. Um, Which topic are you doing now? It's the present perfect. Present oh, okay. okay. We, uh, we, uh -huh. we, have, we have studied present perfect. Yes, we have. Okay. What what is the what is the name of the verb when you're using present perfect? What's the name? Past participle. Yes, it's past participle. That is correct. And what is the name of the auxiliary when we use present perfect? Have. Have. Have or has. Have or has. Right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you say la clase no ha terminado aún? How do you say that in English? The English class. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No ha terminado ha, aún. Hacen. Hacen what? Hacen finish. Finish. Good. Yet. Finish. Uh -huh. So you say the English class hasn't yet. finished yet. Yet. Mm. Ah, okay. Okay. How do you say no he encontrado mi billetera? I haven't. Oh. I haven't found, found the wallet, wallet, my wallet. Good. I haven't found my wallet. Now, if you want to be, um, you want to make sure that the sentence is completely negative, you write yet at the end. So you said, I haven't found my wallet yet. Yeah. Remember that yet, we use it only for negatives or when we're making questions. You never use it with positives. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. Still dead. Excuse me? It's still. Okay, still is for positives and yet is for negatives. Okay. Right. So you, you, you can say it, um, still, how can you use still? Has she still, yeah, still for positives and yet for negatives? Okay. Yep. Okay. Hello? Hello. <laughs> Did you guys finish? No. no. Oh, you're, 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 you're quiet. Are you planning we something? Know what to say. <laughs> huh? We, we are talking about love and anybody oh. say anything. <laughs> so nothing related with the topics that, uh, that I gave you. <laughs> that, that's okay. That's, 
I mean, the idea why I put you to work in, in, in pairs or triads is for you to develop uh, more fluency. So even if the topics are not related with, uh, with the class, that's fine. Just make sure you do it in English. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. <laughs> All right. Okay. Two in the future. Which one are you discussing now? Time contracts. Time contracts. Okay. When we talk about time contracts, we're talking about the different tenses that we have. So if you compare El Salvador now with 40 years ago, you will use past tense. What is the contrast? Simple present. The future. Or future, exactly. So we're talking oh, about teacher. past, present, and future. This is uh, uh, the first, uh, first uh, clause. Topics? First. The tie contract, uh, for example, they use uh, and the action in the past, but uh, uh, we are to about the future. Uh, is a fears. Um, I don't remember the complement. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. If, so if you compare El Salvador 25 years ago with now, you will have to make a comparison, the simple present with the simple past. Okay. Yep. The first conditional is similar? Uh, no, first conditional is um, something that you do now with a result in the future. So if you drink water, your kidneys will be healthy. That is the first conditional. If you listen to your parents, you will live for many years on earth. If you save money, you will be ready for emergencies. That is the first conditional. Yes. Uh-huh. Um. So for time, example. Uh-huh. Uh, in past, a few years ago, not many people live here. Okay. In present, in present, these days, the population is growing so fast. Exactly. So that is a time contrast. She said, many years ago, many people didn't live here. But now the population is growing fast. So so that's a very good example about big cities in, in every part of the world. You know, like in the past, they were like only a few people, but now it's the opposite. Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see. Okay, you guys finished? Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. All right, um, any comments or questions about um, what we were discussing? What's, what's the main difference between borrowing land? Anybody? Can you guys hear me? Hello? 
Hello, hello. Teacher, I don't know if, if I, I, I got it, but uh, borrow is when you're mentioned the person who who you, who you are asking the, the favor. Okay, borrow is when you mention the person that is asking for the favor. That is correct. And lend is when you mention the person doing the favor. So you can say, uh, my sister says she can lend you the dictionary, but she needs it back tomorrow. Ella te puede prestar el diccionario. So borrow is when you're the one that needs and lend is when you're the person given. Mm -hmm. um, what did we say about wedding day when we spoke about this? Do you remember this class? Do you? The just some some somebody mentioned in that in that in that class uh, uh, the traditions about something something new uh -huh. right now if if you compare weddings uh let's say 30 years ago in el salvador how are they different with the weddings now uh, are there any differences? What do you think? Yes, teacher. Um, now it's, it's so common uh, that the weddings are a thematical wedding. Are? Oh, thematicals. Yes. Okay. Could be. Yep. Now, do you think that weddings lasted more in the past than now, or are they the same? What do you think? When did people persevere more, in the past or now? Can you hear me? I understand your your question, teacher. Okay. Um. Do you do you know do you guys know the meaning of the word last? Last means durar. So my question is: Did weddings last more time in the past than now, or is it the same? What do you think? Mm. What is what is um what is wedding in Spanish? Boda. Right. Dia de boda. Okay, dia de boda. How do you say matrimonio? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did marriages last longer in the past? What do you think? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, so why why do you think that this was like this in the past? What was the secret? Any ideas? Respect. Uh-huh. The, the, the Woman only say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, teacher. It's a joke. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think that in the past, uh, things were more, uh, more serious, more complicated. People were more committed to, to a marriage than now. You know, and it's true, you know, like times change. Now we have many distractors, uh, different things why people don't last that long in a marriage. Yep. Okay, so we're going to stop so right here. Uh-huh. What is it? Okay, so we're going to stop right here. Remember that we have 
a class of 30 minutes tomorrow because I owe you 30 minutes. So um, if you can join us tomorrow, uh, it will be really nice. And if for whatever reason you cannot join us, um, I will see you when I see you. And it was a pleasure working with you guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. All right, teacher. so I expect to see you tomorrow. You guys have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.